today, um, what I would like to to do at the Zoom is uh, uh, is really how uh, how how to to manage how to migrate uh, to Teams telephony, and also direct routing will be uh, super important today. All right, so let's uh, start. First, a few figures. Um, what we've seen, so this is uh, some figures from, from the metric G uh, research, all right, that's uh, quite recent. We can see that a lot of companies are right now or are planning to migrate to uh, on-prem, from on-prem to cloud, right? The main two uh, vendors are Microsoft and Cisco, and we support both. All right. Um, if we have a look to Microsoft and if we zoom to, Ma to Microsoft, we can see that most of uh, the team adopters, all right, are using direct routing. That's super important for, for them. And why? Because this is really about cost saving. All right. So direct routing is part and is key when you are migrating to uh, Microsoft uh, or when for you day to day also uh, management then. All right. So we will have a look also to, um, to this. Um, so the migration is really important. However, you may have some challenges. It's not so easy to migrate to uh, Microsoft. Why? Certainly you will have to manage with really complex operations. All right. And of course, when it's complex, it's a, a risk of issues, a, a risk of errors. Um, as an example, you will you will have to deal with to deal with so sorry uh, with SBC as an example. So that could be quite complex. Um, you may loss of control. You have a risk of loss of control um, because maybe you won't do your ten thousands end user migration in the five next minutes, all right? Maybe you want to have phases, different stages during your, your project. So you will need tool to help you for, for that. And finally, uh, it could be uh, quite uh, overwhelmed uh, by repetitive time consuming operation. All right, so migration, keep in mind that that's really important. Everybody is migrating right now, but there are some challenges. But all right. Thanks to Kermit Software, who will help you and we will simplify this migration. All right. So I will try to not boring you with uh, 10 thousands of slides and I will prefer to really focus on one use case and give you a real demo about what does that mean a migration using Kermit. So let's say we've got a company using today um, Skype for business on prem. All right. And we would like to migrate to uh, Microsoft 365. OK. How does that work thanks to Kirmi? So we log to the Kirmi web interface, all right? No PowerShell, no Graph API, all right? Simple graphical web interface, okay? And first, so we have a few widgets that will give us some information, some analytics on our company. At first, we will search for our end user, Stuart, all right? So let's look for Stuart, and we can see that today he's using Skype for Business. First. I will have some main information regarding that end users. First name, last name, and a few information regarding the services, the features used today by these end users. All right, super easy. Now I want to migrate this end user. How to do that? Just update the user, that's it. So I will click on the update button and I will select what we called a package. A package is like a user profile, all right? So we can see that we've got the Skype for Business profile, and so I will change the profile of the package to Office 365 Teams voice profile. That's it. Automatically, Kumi will update the web page and will suggest me a few options, all right? License, for example, and stuff like that. It's up to you to customize this web page. If you want to display, more or less options, you can do it, okay? Remember, fully customizable, that's super important. Then I will be able to select uh, maybe a, a new phone number, super easy. Asks for the pop-up, green, available, red, already in use, gray, it's booked, okay? So super easy to pick up a new number. No technical skid, no Excel spreadsheet to manage your phone numbers. And then you have a few options, up to you to enable or disable. So you can, for your migration, define all the default value for this web page if you want, and then hide or display the options. 
And finally, maybe you don't want to migrate right now, but tonight or next weekend. So of course, super easy to display a calendar, pick up a date, click on apply, and that's it. Okay, so super easy to schedule, prepare your migration. All right, that's the way to do it. Of course, I will consider that to do an immediate migration. When you're done, so pick up a package, select a few options, that's it. Select a date in the calendar, and then click on apply. You are done. Kirmi will take care about deleting the end user from your Skype for Business environment, create the new end user in the Microsoft 365 environment, make the direct routing configuration, maybe we'll connect to the SBC in order to do the stuff that we must do during a migration. Every equipment will be, uh, will be automatically updating during the migration. That's it. From the admin perspective, it was a simple web page. That's it. It's done. And of course, what we've done here together for one user can be done. We have bulk management capabilities. It could be done for 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 end users at the same time. That's not an issue for us. And here, so you see that the services, the feature were upgraded. And we have also something uh, quite interesting. This is what we called here the change log. Every operation in Kermit are tracked. Super easy to see when the end user was migrated, who done that stuff, extra, etc. Okay, so tracking is super important. Even more, if you want to provide an access maybe to a local administrator that will take care only on of a few end users in his local site, all right? And you want to know what was done by this local administrator and keep control of that, okay? So that's the way today um, to migrate uh, end user thanks to Kirmi. So some advantages, of course, uh, error-free, okay? Just a couple of clicks, that's it. No risk of PowerShell typo, stuff like that. Um, it's really secured, of course. Um, because we have our own database, so we keep uh, we keep the data integrity in all phases of the migration. Super important. Uh, it's smooth. It's up to you to do one by one, ten by ten, site by site migration. Define the planning and stuff like that. And we try to make it really, really simple. It's a unique and friendly apps. Okay, very, very important for the migration. And what you've seen from Skype for Business to Microsoft could be done from Havaya to Microsoft, from Cisco to, I, to Microsoft, a lot of technologies that we are supporting today. All right, so you can say, yes, my migration is done. I'm ready for day-to-day -day management. Are you sure? Are you sure of that? Maybe, maybe not. Why? Because in the day-to-day -day management, you have also some challenges to solve. First one, Today, when you are using the native interfaces provided by Microsoft, really nice, but the way to isolate some resources, sites, some data is not so easy. The granularity of configuration maybe is not, uh, is not what you were expecting. Uh, the options in order to remember the use case I, I, I gave to you, re-enter the local administrator, non-technical local administrators that would like to maybe manage just a few end users, all right, and you want just maybe a few features for that administrator, it will be quite difficult. So that could be uh, a challenge for you. And even more, if you are today managing maybe multiple platforms, uh, multiple technologies, and you want a single pane of glass to manage all of that, that won't be easy. That's why our solution is also used for day-to-day -day management. And we will help you to automate the deployment, but also the management the day-to-day -day management in Microsoft 365, okay? So our solution can be used for migration, for day-to-day -day management, and of course, for both of that, okay? And regarding day-to-day -day management, um, once again, I would like to give you a concrete use case of one uh, of uh, key features that we provide. So how to manage a uh, numbering range uh, in Microsoft Teams, all right? Without using boring uh, Excel files. So here is the example without uh, without Kermit, right? Without Kermit, so without a tool like us, um, you will have to deal with maybe uh, with uh, Excel files and uh, also some PowerShell. So here you see it's sped up, of course, 
it will be very time consuming in order to prepare what you want to, uh, to, to, to manage. It will be quite complex. You have to use Excel, maybe to copy, to paste, then to come back to your PowerShell editor, to copy, to make some change, etc. So a lot of risk of uh, issues, of errors. That's the way to do it manually. How to make that happen with Kermit? Super easy, all right? First, you will connect to a nice web interface. Look for your end user. Say, oh, I want to add voice for that end users. Please show me the numbers available. Pick up a number available. Click on apply. That's it. It's done. Okay, super easy. All right, and of course, behind that, behind the scene, we will take care of everything, CSBC, direct routing, configuration, extra, extra. All right, so that's, thanks to Cure Me, a single interface, you will see what are the numbers available, and you will be able to manage that without any skills, tech skills. All right, and this is only one feature for our day-to-day -day management, how software, how tool provide you a lot, a lot of features. Here are some of them, also some number, but also license management, policies management, uh, the ability to delegate the administration, so role-based access control, um, the way to track everything, to record everything, to roll back, and stuff like that. A lot, a lot of features are providing by our software in order to help you, to help uh, your administrator to really uh, perform uh, the day-to-day -day management, okay? Um, and our solution is already available, all right? It's already approved by the market. It's secured, it's off the shelf, and it's scalable, all right? It's ready to use, okay? So as a few um, take, key takeaways, uh, remember that thanks to Kurmi, we are speaking about management, all right? Provisioning, that's a key word. And thanks to us, you will save your time. We consider that you will be able to reduce up to 90% of your time. And so you will reduce the cost. Of course, you will reduce issues. And finally, you will improve your service that you will deliver to your end users. Be sure that when a new employee is joining the company, immediately you will have all the services up and running regarding Microsoft 365. Okay, migration, day-to-day -day management, one tool that will take care of everything. That's it. So today, um, I'm with uh, Sylvain and Vincent Letiek and Mohamed. So if you have any questions, if you want to see more features, if you want to, uh, to see a live demo, um, feel free to uh, visit at, at our booth. 35. And for people who are online, of course, uh, you can connect to uh, kermi.software.com and you can also request online a demo and we'll contact you very soon in order to answer to all your questions. And I think that we have a very few minutes. So if we have some questions online here. Does anybody have any questions? If you're on the Teams meeting, go ahead and raise your hand and I can enable your mic. You can unmute and ask a question. Anybody in the room have a question? Okay, make sure to stop by your, uh, the booth there, 35, and say hi to tell them what a great job Bruno did today. And let's give him a round of applause. Thank you.